Welcome back. So you remember last time I was actually milling the foam for the right upper uh, four plane skin. So this is the one for the left. And as you can see there in the middle, there's a bit of a gouge in the foam there. Messed up with the transition and tool paths, but nothing we can't fix. So that one's done. And here Jeff's creating the part uh, for that little um, piece that we created that mold uh, last time out of a Corian countertop. You see he's got a bag there just with a trash bag. So you'll see that in a little bit. And here's the right side upper four plane skin up on the machine now. So this has been sprayed with putty. And as you can see, quite a lot of it's already been done. And just working on the side flange there now uh, with the flat, uh, the short flat um, end mill there. So a little bit more to do after that's done. Need to do uh, underneath that uh, leading edge there as well. And finish off some of the other areas uh, with the ball mill. Uh, but anyway pretty much business as usual with these although I did actually make a couple mistakes on that uh, but nothing that couldn't be fixed again and there on the bottom side is that part that was just uh, laid up and bagged there and so that pulley is not, not the actual one that's going to be in there but anyway that's kind of a mock-up to show you how this is going to be and this is the um, the far end of the main spar the aileron control pulley and here's the finished product of that right side upper four plane skin plug and came out nicely, um, not too difficult really. Uh, anyway, so the other one now is going to be sprayed with putty uh, tomorrow, and then that one will be up on the machine as well. And there it is. There it's it's been uh, glassed, and it has the peel ply on there. So the peel ply will come off uh, tomorrow morning, and then that one will get uh, putty on there, and then it'll be up on the machine. And here's that mold for the lower. Um, winglet or oh sorry four plane skin that was being laid up the other day and you see the guys have put bracing around there with some foam and just added some extra glass over the top to sort of uh, support that one and these wing spar molds have been sitting here for a while anyway decided to or we decided to get them braced up so there's some foam laid up over the top and they'll get some carbon over that and then we can get those plugs out of the way because they're taking up a lot of room in the shop so that's going to happen over the next day or two and here's Devin just gluing down the rubber profile for this other lower um, four plane skin and one for the left hand side so it won't be long and they'll be ready to start laying up the mold for that one so three boxes of avionics showed up today so I had to unpack and just inventory everything and now I started going through um, some of the stuff that I needed to know from before that I was sort of guesstimating or using documentation from anyway basically what it comes down to right now is that these are the a couple of the brackets for two of the units and because of the way they set up um, I've decided I needed to make some changes in terms of how I was laying out the these components um, in the CAD and you'll see that in a minute anyway I also printed out all the different uh, connectors there that we're going to be using so I know where all the different pinouts are and you know a lot of these pins or some of these pins we're not actually using but at least if I have this reference in front of me I'm probably going to actually stick this up on the wall maybe um, just to make my life easier but it's a little, little complicated but I'm getting there so anyway um, back in the SolarWorks here you can see I've kind of stacked a bunch of these units there now uh, just going to make life easier that way and then I got the backup battery over there now and uh, let's see what else did I change I moved the the vertical power over to the other side uh, to the right hand side of that uh, tray there and you can see I've got the pedo system in here pedo static and the AOA those tubes are in there I moved the uh, the GSU 25 over to the other side and got all this in and you can see that all runs down to the pedo tube that I sort of mocked in place there so it's coming along and um, there's still tons of work to do here but at least working through all this sort of stuff you have something that's not just in your head or a scratch on a piece of paper and you can see I moved that um, battery uh, contactor solenoid there and uh, made it much neater and tidier there the way it, it is than from what I had it before and lastly uh, with the pedo static system the static um, port we have back here on the fuselage sort of towards the back there just near where the gear is going to be I think that's a good spot because uh, you won't get any um, convergent flow there around the fuselage as you would if you put it in the front. Anyway, still a lot of work to do there, but um, that's our update for the first half of this week, and thanks again for watching.